Hello to everyone, this is Vishal. Now we have another tutorial today that is Kotlin. So, as uh, everybody knows, that's the new language in Android Studio, and uh, today we implement the apps on the Kotlin also besides Java. So, those who are new, then we we'll little bit discuss about the Kotlin, and um, then uh, I will show to you how we can use it in your Android Studio and make a small practical on that and in coming videos i will show to you how we can use the kotlin in a detail uh, and how we create apps on that so before five ten minutes i describe to you a simple kotlin and uh, it is a programming language introduced by the jet prince and the official designer of the most intelligent java ide and that is an intelligent idea and this is strongly statically typed language that runs on jvm and in 2017 google announced kotlin as an official language so that means the last year it was with the official language and before the android studio 3 we used the plugin of the kotlin and then uh, use it there but uh, as in new android studio i mean version 3 and up we use it uh, as an uh, language in which we can create a uh, programs easily so the kotlin is an android compatible language and that is concise expressive designed to be type and null safe and if uh, anybody be work with the swift so can say that it's uh, very similar to swift and uh, as a java also so it makes it easy for developers who love the java language to keep using it but also incrementally at a Kotlin code and leverage Kotlin library. So those who want to work in a, a Kotlin or who want to start in Android using the Kotlin, they can, uh, as in a beginner, they can start it. So no need of, uh, of Java at that time. And if you have a knowledge of Java, that's also be very good. So, uh, is, uh, as I told you, it's in fully supported in Android Studio 3 and higher and using the Kotlin required that you add the Kotlin plugin. But all new releases of Android Studio, these tools build in. So, we just click on that Kotlin access and then make our Kotlin files there. And little bit easy to work with the Kotlin. Uh, I will show you how. So the open a java file and code you convert the file in kotlin file if you already be project of uh, java projects you have and you want to see that what is the kotlin converted files be there so you can convert it easy and kotlin we can say it's a uh, functional language and very easy to learn and if you're familiar with the swift ios you can work on that is very easily as it's very easy to remember it's expressive and readable and understandable so uh, if you see this we have a kotlin compiler if somebody asks to in interview this how we can create this jvm and compatibility so that is your dot kt files and it compatible with the bytecode for the jvm is the same as the dax compiler doing so the idea is the language feature can help developers write similar code and fix some java's issues and uh, as each and every time we can access it by the id recognize of particular text view and list view likewise that so we can access it directly so it, it recognize that which id be there so there we can access i will show you so the uh, we do first two practical but today i will show to you how a simple um, username and password we can input and how the kotlin works in it and the second tutorial be uh, my uh, that will i will upload it tomorrow that is related to the list view kotlin so that is uh, start of kotlin so today we start a simple program on the kotlin so you have to start a new project here and that is your new project and say kotlin example one and you see that here we have a tick on include kotlin support so that means it include the kotlin and this is your android version uh, more than i mean three that's as my is 3.0.1 
so include kotlin support there and say next next and the same thing as you're doing in android projects and we go to the, our main activity once it load on android studio it just take a one to two minute yeah okay so this is our project be ready uh, just a gradle build be running once it completed then we start so hope uh, it will help to users who start the career in kotlin so in my other tutorials i will describe you one by one how the kotlin works in coming week gradle build is running so till we see it yeah so here is a feature that is a it has on architecture to allocate memory and produce a quality output to the end user what we said it is a programming language has its own architecture to allocate memory and produce a quality output to the end users also so this is your kotlin compiler so that is the important part uh, if you have a theory you can search it anywhere and if you want then you can access it uh, from my site It take a time just mm. okay now okay let's see now our layout yeah it's finished now in a layout first we have to go for a linear one And uh, here I want be a uh, nothing we need. We just create a small form, and you can say it. It is a login, and make a margin top be ten dp and text we 24 dp neural and text style the boat okay and uh, we need to edit text for this this is your match parent wrap contents and say id id username and uh, your text style uh no need of that this is your text size we take it as uh 20 dp and margin top on 20 dp also now copy it paste and here you can say it uh pass well or user pass so everything is fine now last we have a button this is our button this is our match parent wrap contents and id be your id mm. login click and make it a wrap contents okay and gravity we can say it a center
and tag size be your 18 dp and text color will make it a uh, white so create a resource file value triple f now we can design it little bit and here we have orientation that is vertical let's see the form okay and the text is log sorry mm. on a button and now we use it as a hint and that is a enter password and here your hint enter name yeah it works now we can put the little bit background color that is a background color i want be a green so we have some shades here of the green i will copy it enter and on a resource i will put it that's okay now this is fine and there also be a text color be white and hint color be white so the same we have to copy be here little bit attractive it is that's fine and uh, the background color of a button it's be color pram so it's good now main work how to use the main activity so we need uh, this is you can see it it is related to little bit similar where we have used the extents but here we have a column that means if you want to extend anything in a Kotlin so here we have a column this is the column base adapter column something column activity likewise that and uh, if I want to access this uh, button just say it is a login click so you just say simply login it's show to you that it is a reference be there and say set on and it will show to you the click listener and nothing we want just curly brackets that means it's enough for the listening there is no need of new on click listener likewise that that means it automatically we click on and here if you want to be a value so you say where uh, this is your user name and that's be your uh, a string kind of that name and that is be your username dot uh, what is the value of here it is a user name just a little bit screen width so that is your username that is a reference from this dot text dot to string that means you want to access this we can access it like a where pass name pass well that's be your a string that is your user pass that is X activity reference be here and we do not need the get text or set text only text we work on both the forms I mean either you set the text either you get the text you just simply say text to be there 
so these two things we have okay and if you can say that username val dot equals be your empty so you can say you show the toast with there so for that we can create a small toast function so that is your fun show toast and this is your a message of a string type in which you can say that toast dot make talks and this is your this comma and you can put your message comma is your toast dot length long dot show no need of columns and semicolons just be the swift working type of language and here you can say show toast username is now we can say it please put please enter username okay and the same thing we have to work with this control and this is your else if and this is your else part no need of anything be here and here you can say it pass well please enter user password and if everything is fine so you can say that username is username well and that is your plus and say user pass is plus user Sorry, that is your pass well okay so is everything fine that means it works so here it's so easy so you can say it we can't access it it automatically be your login click click listener it take uh, enter name password and I will also be describe how you can get using the find view by ID there in using this but will in other tutorial but today I'm just showing to you how it works simple now we can uh, run the Jani motion so I think it's very easy to work with and uh, uh, in a list view adapter so for that uh, you will understand it one by one the process just a minute just wait for that it run so here it is we can see that we have a login and uh, if we put it some name okay first we have to do some blank so you say please enter username if we enter something please enter password we enter something username and user password is we have to show in the toast so it's easy so we'll see you on our second tutorial of kotlin in which i will show to you how we can make adapter and list view in it thank you so much